technology you won't see anywhere else. Outstanding demos. Discuss your challenges with REMS engineering team. The new Sagami S207 features a full B-axis live tool attachment. The attachment has 135 degrees of B-axis motion with full point zero zero one degree resolution. Its full four axis contouring capability allows you to do drilling and milling at any angle on the main spindle or sub spindle. The back working arm on the S207 also has modular capability. It allows you to go from face drill attachments to static tooling to cross drill attachments. This gives you a lot of flexibility on how you want to produce your part. Demanding greater flexibility in their machines. So some of the features are being able to go from Swiss type to non-Swiss type operation. As a Swiss type, the machine is using a rotary guide bushing unit to support the bar stock. In about 15 minutes, an operator can change to non-Swiss type, now using a collet to support the bar stock, eliminating the need for ground bar stock and shorter workpiece lengths. To change over from Swiss type to non-Swiss type, you're going to remove the rotary guide bushing from the machine. The rotary guide bushing is held in place by six socket head cap screws and it generally has some other components plugged in. After removing that, you will install the chucker kit, which will allow you to bring the headstock up into the machining zone to machine shorter workpieces and get a much shorter remnant. When workpieces are shorter than three or four to one ratio, it's much easier to machine them without a guide bushing. You don't have to use ground bar stock. You're gonna have shorter remnants and you're gonna have tighter concentricities and roundnesses. Welcome, my name is James, I'm an application engineer for REM Sales in Sagami, and here we have the SS26, which is a 26 millimeter uh, bar diameter Swiss screw machine. For this demo here, we're creating a maglite type flashlight. It's three separate parts, uh, all being made with the same program and the same process at one after another. This particular part here has about a cycle time of six minutes. Uh, making all three parts in the macro programming, which also includes engraving on two of the parts. The machine set up here is a stock standard machine. There's no additional components um, other than the tooling that was placed in here to make the actual part. Meet with our application engineers. Bring your toughest parts and prints to our expert bar. Map your own customized solutions.